Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate and in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the best WordPress plugins. Uh, now these are going to be 10 different plugins that you can use for your website. Uh, we're gonna go through each one of these, show you some of the pros and cons of them and show you where you can use this and most importantly, how this can benefit your websites because when you're building a website on WordPress, unless you wanna code all of this yourself, you're gonna find that using some of these plugins is going to make your website experience so much smoother it's going to be so much better. Um, and the good thing about this is that a lot of these that I'm gonna share with you in this video have free versions. Some of them are totally free. A couple of them do have upgraded or, or, or paid versions, uh, but we'll talk about each one of those and kind of go through some of the pros and cons there. So if you're new here to the channel, you wanna learn uh, more about topics such as these, building websites, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get started with this video. All right, so like I said, each one of these is going to have its own specialty uh, thing that can really help you with your site. And the first one that I wanted to touch on, and we're just gonna to touch on this very briefly because I think a lot of us already know this one or have this one, uh, but if you aren't not using something like Elementor or Divi uh, as a page builder for your website, then you're probably gonna to wanna to check this out, especially if you're struggling to make your website and you're looking at your WordPress dashboard and you're not using Elementor, uh, I think this could be a real problem unless you're coding this all yourself uh, once again. So something like Elementor, they have a free version, this is what I love about it, but it has this front end page builder, page editor. Uh, it has tons of different templates that you can use. So you could honestly go through and build a website literally within a couple of hours by using something like this Elementor page builder. And like I said, they have that free version. They also have a pro version, an upgraded version. Uh, we have the upgraded version. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. You can get away with the free one. Uh, but like I said, I think a lot of us already understand this one. People already have page builders, either Elementor or Divi. We have a video talking about which one we think is better. Um, so I'll link to that down below. But let's continue on here and let's talk about the next uh, plugin that we can use, which is Analytify. Now, the overall message here that I, I wanna share with a plugin like Analytify is to make sure that you are tracking your website traffic with something like Google Analytics. So Analytify is going to connect with your Google Analytics account to show you your real-time people who, who, who are on your website at the moment. It's going to show you where they're from. It's gonna show you your bounce rate. It's gonna show you so much data that's going to be so crucial to building a successful website. So Analytify is going to allow you to do this. You don't absolutely need to have Analytify, but like I said, the overall message in this plugin that I'm talking about here is to make sure that you're connecting your website to something like Google Analytics. And Analytify just makes it easier for you. It puts it right there in your WordPress dashboard so you don't have to continuously go over to Google Analytics all the time. And it gives you this nice snapshot, this breakdown of how your website is performing. Uh, I spend so much time in my analytics using something like Analytify. I spend so much time uh, trying to understand our data so that we can increase our search engine optimization, so we can increase our dwell time, we can decrease our bounce rate. We're trying to get better with our website um, and we use all of this data from something like Analytify in order to do that. So I, I would definitely suggest checking that out. If you wanna use something besides Analytify, you could also look at Monster Insights, which is another popular one to understand your analytics with your website. Okay, so that's an important one. Well, the next plugin that I wanna share with you is Yoast SEO. Uh, this is arguably my favorite plugin here on this list, and it's for a couple of reasons. One, that I think it's very important to understand that with your website, I'm assuming that you're trying to rank in Google or on other search engines. If you wanna rank on Google, you need to understand search engine optimization, which is essentially trying to get your website or your blog article to the top of Google. When somebody Googles how to invest money, you want your finance blog to pop up at the top, right? Makes sense. And so something like Yoast SEO helps you accomplish this, uh, and it makes it a lot easier. For example, they can give you insights on uh, whether your title is too long, or maybe your subtitle is looking a little bit off, or it's a little bit too difficult to read, the words are too complex, too large, uh, and they give you so much insight from that perspective that sometimes we don't really think about. So I'll be honest, when I first started creating blogs a couple of years ago, I would spend a lot of time uh, trying to create a really great article, but I wouldn't realize that maybe the words that I was using were too complex. They were they were too sophisticated and uh, they were sort of going over some people's heads, which then people were clicking off because they just didn't really understand what we were talking about uh, when we were talking about maybe a technical subject. So that's one of the things that Yoast SEO helped us with that we use when we had this plugin to just make sure that we are creating these articles or whatever it might be for your site and, and uh, to rank better 
on Google overall. It's just a great feature that I think you're going to want to try out. Um, and you can certainly get the premium version if you wanted to, but they also have that free option available, which I think is kind of sort of a no-brainer. And there's no affiliate link here. I mean, we're not selling Yoast. We have no connection with Yoast. I just think it's a really good product that you'll probably want to at least try out and see if you can benefit it, benefit from it in any way. Okay, next one is to have some type of email collection. Okay, so we like to use constant contact. Uh, there's tons of different ones out there as well. You could use MailChimp. You could use a, a bunch of different ones. But something like constant contact uh, is going to help you collect email capture emails and I know people are saying Nate you're still capturing emails in 2020 2021 is that still relevant I thought this is something from 2004 do people still capture emails on websites uh, and the answer to this is yes very much yes email marketing is very much alive and well uh, and it's something that you can make a lot of money with and this is why when you go to some of the largest websites in the world some of the largest blogs in the world they are all collecting emails nearly at the very top and if not the very top they're definitely doing it on the home page somewhere and it's probably a pop up. It's probably something that's popping up. Constant contact can help you do this. Um, so I think this is really a no-brainer. If you have a newsletter, uh, if you have new blog articles that you're rolling out on a weekly basis and you want to push those blog articles to people, you want people to read them, well, if you have an email list, you can send those blog articles to all of your readers, right? So you have this, this network, you have this big list that you can build up with something like Constant Contact, which you can embed right into your website. So I definitely suggest using that one. And the next one is very, very important. It's having some type of security on your website. Um, so the one that you can use here is called iThemes Security. There's a couple others as well. I think there's one called WordFence that I've heard great reviews about. Uh, but iThemes Security, what it's going to do is it's going to give you different features that allow you to protect your website. So here's the thing about websites with WordPress. They can sometimes be a little bit vulnerable. Uh, in, in my opinion, I think that they can be more vulnerable than sometimes companies like Squarespace or Wix. Uh, but if you're using WordPress, we can end up having certain vulnerabilities. And iThemes Security Security can help us sort of tie up those, those loose ends, sort of make sure that we're fortified uh, to prevent hackers and scammers and other people trying to take over our website. So just to give you a couple of examples of things that we can use with iThemes is if you want to whitelist certain IP addresses or maybe you want to blacklist certain IPs, you want to blacklist certain countries, maybe you live in Portugal and you don't want anybody outside of Portugal uh, being able to log into your website, you can use that feature on iTheme security to block all, uh, all other countries. So maybe you don't want anybody in the Netherlands to get into your website so you can block the entire countries of the Netherlands uh, to avoid having people hack into your website. And there's a lot of different features as well that I think are really valuable. This is not something that you probably want to skimp on. Um, I think when it comes to security, this is one of the first things that people cut out. They say, you know what, I'll worry about security later. Uh, I don't see any problems at the moment, so I'm just not going to uh, think about having security on my website. And then suddenly they get hacked, something bad happens, and their entire purpose of life, if, if they're focusing so much on something, building a website for five years and they got hacked, it wouldn't be very fun. Um, and I think it'd be pretty upsetting. So take some preventative measures there and have something like iTheme Security or a couple of others. And you know, if you're not gonna have an, a security plugin, just make sure that you are fortifying your website and you understand uh, the different vulnerabilities that might be out there. All right, so the next plugin that I wanna share with you is called Pretty Links. Now, I know this name sounds sort of strange, but this is a great plugin that I think everybody should use. Uh, this is going to clean up your links and it helps you so much with understanding your affiliate links or if you're just using links on different websites or maybe you have a YouTube channel, it makes it so much easier. So for example, if you go down into the description here in this video, you'll notice that maybe we link up a blog article or maybe we link up something and you'll notice that we'll have centralmedia.com slash and then that company's name, right? So maybe it's like centralmedia.com slash SiteGround, and this takes you directly to SiteGround's website. So what this does is it cloaks the link, but it keeps it nice and clean so that it's not this long four page long uh, link that you have to click on in a YouTube description. It's nice and clean, centralmedia.com slash SiteGround, very, very simple. And that's the kind of stuff that we really like about Pretty Links. I think this pro version for Pretty Links is like $50 and it's a lifetime pass. Uh, we got this a while ago. It helps you track your links so you can look at how many clicks you're getting. I'll show you this on actually
actually my main YouTube channel. You can see that I have uh, the Robinhood one. I have all these different banks that I promote on my primary YouTube channel. Uh, and just running it through something like Pretty Links allows me to track the amount of clicks that I get on that so I can make sure that my clicks line up with the clicks that maybe are reported from a company within their affiliate dashboard. So Pretty Links is a wonderful plugin that you should definitely consider using. And of course, trying to give you alternatives here. Uh, if you don't want to use Pretty Links, there's another one called Thirsty Affiliates, which is a very just strange name. Like Both of them are kind of weird names, but they're both great products in my opinion. All right, now I want to show you this plugin that I think is really amazing, which is WP Forms. Uh, this is more so of a staple to WordPress websites. I think it's one of the most installed plugins on WordPress of all time, uh, and it's not without reason, okay? There's a lot of reasons why people have installed this so many times. I think well over 3 million times it has been installed. And that's because if you want to collect something, like maybe you're looking to collect email, uh, maybe you're looking to to collect some type of survey, uh, maybe you want to uh, have some type of contact form or registration forms or newsletter forms or uh, collecting some type of payment. All of this is possible with WP Forms. So I'll leave a link to them down below as well. I mean, I just think it's sort of a staple. So for the next plugin, this one is truly revolutionary. It's going to allow you to have live chat features on your site, it looks super professional. Uh, and this is called WP Live Chat Plugin for WordPress, which is made by Tidio. So I just call it Tidio, I don't know. Um, but this is something that, let's say that maybe you want to have a live chat feature on your website 24 seven, but obviously you're probably not around 24 seven unless you have people in multiple different continents answering on these live chats. But what's great about this is that it's actually, you can have canned responses. And then maybe if this bot is not able to answer the person's question, then they submit their email or they submit their inquiry. And then you pick up that ticket in the morning when you wake up and you can answer their question for them. And I think what's really good about this is that I really think it can help generate more leads for your website. Let's say you're a marketing agency, somebody's on there and they're thinking about maybe uh, giving you a call, maybe sending you a message, but they're not quite sure. So they go on to your uh, 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 chat thing and they're looking to just ask a simple question. Your bot answers it for you. It saves you time. It saves them time. Um, or they end up sub submitting their email through that and then you reach out to them the next day with their contact information. And I just think it's something that you're probably going to want to try out, especially if you're a business looking to generate more leads uh, and also answer some of these commonly asked questions. You can just take them to like an FAQ page as well through something like Tidio. Okay, so there's two more plugins that I want to share with you. Uh, and the next one is known as Smush. This has actually been around for quite some time. It does have millions of downloads. It's been tested well over time. Um, and this is going to reduce the size of your images so that we can have fast loading websites. This is one of the biggest things that we see people overlook when they're building websites is they think that it, their, their site speed does not matter as much. And there's a lot of different things that affect this. You look at your server, you look at hosting. Yes, all of that's very important. But you also want to look at how large your images are or the files on your website. And if you have a massive, massive image on your website, it's going to take longer to load on that person's computer. And when it takes longer to load, the problem here is that Google says, hey, you know what? This website's taking a long time to load. We don't like that. We're going to move it down on the list. So when somebody Googles something and it's relevant to your website, they might put you on the second or the third or the fourth page. And instead, they're going to prioritize websites that have fast loading content and in that fast loading images. And so this simple plugin like Smush can help you reduce the size of your images and your files so that your site loads very quickly and therefore theoretically should help you with search engine optimization and get more traffic traffic to your website. Uh, you know, they have a couple other things as well that you can look into like lazy load, right? So maybe it doesn't load the entire website all at one time, but as they start to scroll down, it can load it. So there's a lot of different features within this simple WordPress plugin that I think you're not going to want to miss out on. And then the last one that I want to share with you is a very simple plugin as well. And that is WooCommerce, which is a free plugin that you can use for your WordPress website. A common misconception people have is that they think they have to spend $30 a month on a Shopify plan or hundreds of dollars per month on a Shopify plan in order to sell something on their website. The truth is you don't have to do that. You can use WooCommerce, which is arguably one of the largest uh, e-commerce platforms out there in the world. Um, and it's so customizable. It's, it's, it's so simple to use, uh, yet it has so many features that can truly be amazing for your website and for selling products 
online WooCommerce, totally free. Uh, I absolutely love it. And I think you're not going to want to miss out if you plan on selling anything on your website, just install the plugin, try it out. Um, and I don't think you're going to re regret it. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you found some value in it. Uh, I know this one was a little bit longer, uh, but hopefully we were able to provide you some value. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and dropping a like. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see everybody in next week's video.